In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to force restart or force shut down a Chromebook. This isn't something that you're going to do all the time. Normally, if you want to shut down your Chromebook, you just go and click on the time in the bottom right hand corner here, and then click on this power button here, and that would shut it down. And sometimes if there's a little issue going wrong with your Chromebook, like maybe it's running a bit slowly, or maybe it's just doing some other weird thing that it's not meant to be doing, usually you can solve those issues by just turning off your Chromebook and then turning it back on again, and it will be all good. And normally, if you shut down your Chromebook using the method to me just showed you, that will work just fine. And then hopefully when you turn it back on, your Chromebook will be working perfectly again. But if there's something really wrong with your Chromebook and maybe the screen is frozen, or there's some other reason that you actually can't do what Timmy just showed you, so you can't click on the power button to shut it down, there is actually a different way that you can force your Chromebook to shut down, no matter what it's doing. And then hopefully after you've forced it to shut down, when you turn it back on again, it will be working as it's supposed to. So the first thing you'll need to do to force shut down your Chromebook is actually find the physical power button that you usually use to turn it back on after it's been turned off. So on some older Chromebooks, the power button can sometimes be a key on the keyboard. So you might want to look there or it might be somewhere across here maybe. But a lot of the time on modern Chromebooks, you'll find the power button is a little button on the side of the device, just like a phone or tablet. But then once you've found the power button, regardless of where the power button is, you basically just need to hold down the power button until your Chromebook turns off. So if your Chromebook is working fairly normally, like Timmy's is, you should only have to hold it down for three seconds and then it'll turn off. So that might be all you need to do sometimes. But if your Chromebook is really not working correctly and it's really frozen or something, you might have to actually hold down the power button for up to 30 seconds. And it can be a bit discouraging if you've already been holding it down for 15 seconds and you still haven't seen anything happen, your Chromebook is still on. But if you just keep holding it down for the full 30 seconds, or until you see the screen go off completely so it's completely black and you no longer see any lights flashing and you can't hear the fans on your Chromebook if your Chromebook has fans, you can then let go of the power button and your Chromebook will be turned off. So now your Chromebook is off and all you need to do is turn it back on again and then hopefully everything will be working as it's meant to. So you can just go ahead and press that power button normally. So just give it a normal press like you would normally do if you're turning on your Chromebook and then it'll start to come on and you just have to wait for it to turn on. And then once it's on, hopefully it'll all be running normally. And that's all there is to it. You've now forced your Chromebook to restart. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below and Tim, you'll see you in the next video.